Hello and welcome. This video is going to walk you through the installation of the Vault server. So once this has been started, uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the install for the Vault server itself. Once we start to walk through this wizard, we're going to simply accept the license agreement and then key in our serial number and product key. Now the product key is 801D1. That's 801D1. That's for Vault Collaboration AEC. Now the next thing that we need to do is point our uh, Vault in the direction of the, the license server. And uh, in this case, the license server is on our same machine, so I just am going to the command prompt and doing an IP config so I can get the host name of the machine that I'm on. And that's the name of the server that we're going to use to access the license. So uh, this dictates where we're actually getting the license from. Now the next thing that we need to do is uh, go through some of the system setup information. Now. Uh, we're not going to modify any of this. I just want you to be aware of some of the different things that we can uh, do inside of this configuration dialog. One of the first things that we're going to look at is the location of the SQL database. While we could keep this in a remote location, for our purposes we're going to keep this local to our machines. The other thing is that if SQL exists or if this is a new SQL installation, we either can use the default username and password for that. Or again, if it already exists, we can use the configuration that uh, has already been established. So we're going to go ahead and walk through the installation. Uh, essentially here, uh, it's just going to go ahead and, and do all of the next steps. Now the next step here is actually going to be uh, the ADMS system check. Now what this is checking for are things like do you have the right operating system? Uh, do you have a SQL install already on your machine? Uh, do you have Internet Explorer? Has IIS been configured? Are there firewalls that uh, could be blocking data? So it's looking for all of those types of things and if a an action is required uh, it will show up on the report along with a blue hyperlink to the help files that will assist you with identifying exactly what needs to be done on your behalf in order to resolve that issue before you continue. So with that out of the way, if uh, you don't have any uh, particular items that are, are blocking or uh, warning, we can go ahead and finish the installation. And in that case, it just goes ahead and finishes the, the SQL installation along with the server until we have a successful completion of the install.